So, oh wait, did I? Oh, I can't remember. I, I okay, I th okay, I do remember. One bridge to go over the highway, one bridge to go over the river, and one bridge to go over the railroad tracks. Three bridges between Walmart and the library. Checking to see if the library is open. A N W, advertising on a green bin. Library's down here somewhere. Wow, it's really bumpy. I got the name of that road on the map, but I don't see it on the ground. I don't have the name of the this road on the map, but I see it on the ground. I think it's West A, I'm not sure. Take a look, go down. It's not a huge city. Interstate 80. All right, this is the library. Now on Google Maps, it says that it doesn't say that it's closed for COVID, but it's likely to be closed because everything else is still closed. Yeah, there's some signs. Facility, stay tuned. Is packing up. Oh, new location 610 West A. All right, and in front of the library, we got this. Oh, man. Looks like there's a piece of California in Nebraska. Oh, boy, I'm so happy the library's moving. Off to better pastures. Good for them, and I wish them success in their future. Oh, yeah. Man, this is annoying. Oh, there's a Safeway, though. That'll brighten my day if they have bathrooms. <laughs> I forgot that Safeway was, it was here. I'm like, I marked it on the map. I'm like, I was thinking... An hour or two ago, I want to check it out, and then I just forgot when I got on my bicycle. <clears throat> but I suspect it's probably the older Safeway. I'm surprised it's out here, though. I never bought catfish from Safeway, and I now regret having never gotten into that habit. So this is a one-way. Never got into the habit. I was buying canned fish. So dumb. But I didn't know how to cook until I got my Christmas stand. <sighs> All right, it says restrooms here, but then also it says authorized personnel. Are the restrooms down further? Yellow door. Yellow? Oh, okay. Wow, I thought I was going to pedal down the, the main street here and my chain fell off for the fifth time this morning. I don't know if they're regulating this parking area or what, but it looks great. I mean, not great for cooking or exercising, but just straight shade. Watching swallows from above is quite entertaining. I don't know how well it shows up. All they do is fly like acrobats all day for your entertainment on this bridge. They're just up and down all over. Ho, ho, he, yeah. All right, so coming down the bridge, you see the swallows. Swallow. 
Buffalo's got to deal with that. They got this. They got this under edge lined up. There's one looking out at me. They got this whole edge, so this is all swallow. Swallows have built a village underneath this bridge. They actually had an engine at the center. Maybe that's to provide more power. An engine at the at one end, an engine at the other end, at the center, and then maybe another engine at the end. Swallows are a little upset with me, I think. Nope, no engine at the end. How fast is that? Wow. UPS? <laughs> These swallows are, are different, but they sound the same and they have the same mannerisms. Not the barn swallow look specific. Looks like another free pair of sunglasses for me found on the ground here on my way to that that uh, nature park I look cool all right I'm guessing people there's there might be kind of a trail or maybe that's a deer trail why there was a fence here or why there is a fence but it's falling down up ahead why that's there I don't know yeah they set up electricity to this area that's falling down the wires have fallen down got cut off I think they straight up got cut off from the main wire horseradish this is horseradish okay well, I don't know if I'll come back here. I need to I need to grab my lean from somewhere. There's a lot of little nice spots in this field. They were doing something out here. Looks like it's just an old railroad tie storage area. Railroad ties are not uh, sit healthy they're they're kind of toxic I believe could be very old covered in that tar that's interesting let's go what they did here this designated railroad tie graveyard plastic tubes old shack over here and a foundation uh, did they have a building on here they took it down completely there's no sign of anything I'll just set the bicycle here they see they had an electrical outlet you can see they cut it going into the shack it's like a tree fell they didn't bother pick fixing that up doors wide open pretty far from the road it faces the highway I need to take these glasses off wow what is this a chicken coop I have no idea very low roof not something that you'd want to work in it's designed for shorter people old boarding like definite early 1900s the way the they have this the style of this the way the boards are 
like that. This seems newer. All these slats. It's good style. It's a good quality brick. And they had rooms. It's strange. Must have supported the railroad in some way. All right. Just want to make note too that they also had plumbing that came out here and electricity. They had an electrical cord, an old style, and water. They really closed up shop around here and just abandoned it. Whatever they were doing, it was a it was an experiment that didn't work out, I guess. How intense would horseradish root and mulein leaf be on the lungs? You'd have one that just opens up the lungs and the other gets to like the cilia moving. All right, I believe this to be the poisonous hemlock. And it grows as tall as me. That's over six feet tall. All right, it's a noisy spot, but I assume that it's not too busy at the Ukalala Nature Park East entrance. So there's probably a west entrance. But I'm guessing I probably could park on the side. Oh, this is really ribbed road. I, don't, I wouldn't have to go too far in for the east entrance. There's, an, uh, there's a sign, it looks like a welcoming sign. Looks like I could just park on the side of the road. I have to put up with all that noise, but there is some peace and isolation here. Walmart's just across the highway. The fence separates. Otherwise, I could cross right here. Looks like I'm down to the last cinnamon stick. So Walmart's got quite a system where they lock their trash for the foods they throw out. Lock them. And I don't know if they ever give to the uh, any food banks, at least probably not here. So the, today is the last warm day before it gets hot in the upper 90s the next couple of days around here. I drive well, like 200 miles north and that gives a 4 degree relief from the heat. So that looks attractive still driving that distance for that little... That little bit of relief, it still looks attractive enough to, to move faster north. <clears throat> Especially to get out of Nebraska. Because they, I think they've closed every library in the state. So I guess it's 6 a.m. here. My, my Samsung has given me two different times. And I guess the up it's supposed to be six. So what's going to show up for this video for the time? I don't know. There's two parks to consider for me: the nature park nearby this Walmart, and then the other one north of the city. And I'm like, Safeway is on the way to that north park. Unfortunately, I checked Safeway yesterday for catfish, and they have none. They have they don't sell any catfish. They saw all the other fancy fish, no catfish, in that frozen section. Walmart has catfish though, so it's like, it's more worth it to wait the hour in front of the store until 7 to get this catfish, because if Safeway had it, I would now realize that I could just, I'll just go to the North, Wal North Park and stop at Safeway on the way, but that's there's really nothing at Safeway I want. I just noticed they blocked this road off here with these barriers because I bet truckers were really abusing that. They fill up the whole side of the Walmart and this road too that leads to that side. So I'm not sure about all these plants, but I know quite a few are edible. Lamb's Quarter and then this, this uh, 
like mustard seed thing and wild lettuce. I'm very curious about about these. I wonder if I could like boil the tops and and then drink that liquid. Does that provide anything? All right. Oh, I am recording. Look at that. And it's it's upside down. Wow, it's like GoPro Hero 8 degrades in software. And I just did an update too. Wow, that trucker is in a rush. He's going to a dead end street. He's on a dead end street. And he's in such a rush. So I'm going from the Walmart in Imperial to no trucks, ha, <laughs> to a short air, um, distance away. And then I'm gonna quickly cover up the windows. Cover up these windows. In fact, since I'm covering up the front windows, it's okay that I have these, these down because I'm gonna cover them up. for the population of Ogallala. It's going to be a very annoying day today hanging out here. But I want to do it. That highway traffic is is very noticeable. I kind of want to just stay here until the night. I got this I got this gas station that's not far, so I can go to them. Walmart's a little further. I really expect to not be bothered. Except, yeah, the, the highway, oh my god. Except this highway traffic noise is going to be very annoying. <laughs> 